Gritty Museum. It doesn't even say that on those things, but it looks like they have astronauts and asteroids surviving space exhibit to see today, and I think a shark one too. Uh, there's a clock here, and then this really neat entrance. I don't, I think this is some of that. Let me see. Yeah, this is fake. I don't know if it's that artist who does those trees that look, it's out of concrete. It says, faux boy, this one. Carlos Cortez is the artist who did this. But look at the, look at the artwork for the, the doors is the Mays Family Center. I've never really looked at it. That's pretty cool. You are standing on the uh, ace. I can't say that, Madre. So anyway, there's a water system going underneath here. Okay, we're walking up the side entrance because that's where the ramp is for wheelchair entry. And as you walk in, you'll see this wonderful display above. So don't forget to look up because the Witty is a Smithsonian affiliate. It's been helped to be designed by that. And it is free night tonight for people who live in Bear County. That's where San Antonio is. And from three to six, if you register online and you live in Bear County and show up, you can go in for free, but you'll have to pay for the extra exhibits. Okay, we're going to follow the footsteps to the exhibit, but let's see how what's over here when you walk in. This is the way the witty looks. It's very loud, so I'm sure I'll just do voiceover the whole time. The exhibit hall has this interactive map. Oh, here, you can scan this and get the map on your phone if you want, even watching this. But it has this really neat thing where you can pick what you want to go explore of all these places here in the witty. There's these different things and you press the button, and click the one you want. And I'm deciding right now, I, I'm gonna go to that B nailer one next time. I just didn't know all the stuff is here. That's the tree house. We don't go see that today, but um, I'm gonna click on it to see where it's located. And look how cool that is. It tells you do, 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 and you can get it sent to your phone if you press this button and type your phone number in. But look at these um, exhibits here. They have, I don't know if that was an, a real one or not, but watch and see all the neat stuff that we can see. So that's what, those are what live in South Texas. I can't see so much of them. I'm going to have to get somewhere else to show it because there's a bunch of uh, windows. Oh, look at that little chair made out of horns. Number 11. Salesman sample horn chair. Oh, it's a little chair that you could... Oh, how funny.
What if at night, you know what happens here at night, right? Yeah. He wakes up and they have to play fetch with the bone. Yeah. <laughs> if I could give you more than half Oh wow, it covered San Antonio. See that? It used to be water. That's what she just was saying. Of every single word I write, I found you in another line. Notice all the time it takes to just be. Give you more than half swimming and you turned around saw that on on screen
happens if we remove, you can do which side you want to do, the open oceans. So this is, if we took sharks out of the ocean, this is what would happen. So I guess, see what happens if sharks are removed. I guess click on the shark. Oh, look. The net just caught the shark. When sharks are removed, their prey overpopulates and eats all small animals and seaweeds. So without sharks, the smaller ones would overpopulate. See what happens if we do nothing now. What is gonna happen if we don't do anything about sharks being gone? Oh, look, everything dies. They all die. When small animals and seaweed are gone, the ecosystem collapses. So the ocean dies. Let's go back to the tipping point. Let's bring all those back. And then let's see what we need to do. What happens if we bring sharks back? If we get a shark and put it back in there. Oh, sharks keep population in balance and the ecosystem is healthy. I'll reset. You want to let the next person do it or you have the other side to do? Oh, um, what? There was another side that we could do, but you want to just go on? Yeah. Can you do it? I can use a gray one. Just rub the shark thing so I can see how it, how it works if I hold the thing. You gotta rub it instead of coloring it. Just go back and forth, like side to like make it flat and just go back and forth. I want to be able to do it. Oh my child, I know you hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault and you don't. Deserve. All the bad in the hurt Ooh, I know you tried so hard Ooh, I know you've done your part It's not fair did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright All your life you've tried be a good man inside Did everything that you thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good These are all tight, they all belong to the shark family I didn't know dogfishes do Wolbegons, basking sharks. Ooh, look at the mega mouth shark up there. How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up. Just hold on tight. It'll be alright. Shark shop. It says, shark was sighted today. Enter at your own risk. That's cool. I like this one. Protect the oceans.
Oh, look at the West Texas mountain line. Did you find the rattlesnake? There's a rattlesnake in there? I wasn't looking. Oh, look at him. Oh, there's the rattlesnake. He's so tiny. He did that little one. This is so cool. Oh, a horny toad. I think they're, I, we call them horny toads, but they're horned toads. There's some uh, space rocks up here. It's a little video to talk about atmosphere and how things can be made, I suppose. What is, why is, oh, how, how um, meteors might have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. Oh, look, here's where they find meteors and stuff. What, they were glowing? What? Is that true or are they just putting lights on them? Oh, it's glass. So it's desert glass and that's where they think it came from. Like a meteor exploded there and made this glass out of the sand. exhibit but we didn't record it or do it all it was a little overwhelming and required a lot of physical activity so we went out went upstairs and saw the fiesta gown exhibit it used to be kind of a hodgepodge and they've made it really top-notch one thing I learned is all the designs on the Fiesta float gowns 
um, are based on something from the sky, be it something that flies in the sky, or comes from the sky, or exists in the sky. I never knew that. Sixty three, nineteen sixty nine. That's pretty cool. I like the way they've done it this time. They used to have it very messy, like a very messy collection. This is a very nice collect the way they've done it. 1966 We had stars all over the ceiling a minute ago but they're gone Death of silence where echoes remain You are the sunrise and I was the rain A collision of souls opposing and fly I was the darkness you yearn for the light These are the constellations arranged as the people of the Pecos would have seen them on a September night approximately 4,000 years ago. These were people just like you. Just like you. They were worried about things. They thought about things. They solved problems. But they just like you. They felt pain. They felt emotions. They laughed, they cried. That's what I want people to understand, that they were human beings just like you. is painted pebble designs through time.
do you see? This is cool. So the early archaic period, designs of these were the oldest pebbles look like spider webs. Wings of a bird or an insect. Later designs begin to look more like humans. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It says like, hello there. And then this one, faces with black cap of hair on top. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. So let's see what's in here. Oh, look at all the painted pebbles. Man, that would be so awesome if you found some of these. If you were out in the area and you found these, instead of cutting the tree down, they built the building around the tree. So it goes all the way through the roof and to the top. See how big the trees are around here? That's cool. It comes right through, Tanner. So they didn't have to cut the tree down. That's so nice. Parcel tongue, parcel tongue, he heard me. I love you. I love, oh yes, yes I do. You heard me, didn't you? come out that ramp over there because the main door does not have a ramp but the other side over there has a ramp from the, the cowboy side oh wow they covered this whole area up there used to be all nothing and kids would have to come eat their school lunches here on when we had our things they'd have to just sit on these little things now they have them now they have it all covered no! 
It's a squirrel. They're scared of the squirrel. No. Yeah, they got scared of that squirrel on that trash can. They called it a rat. It's a squirrel. This is all new since the last time we came here. Oh, it's a trilobite. Oh, there's the little fountain and it's growing ferns all over it. Is there no more water? Yeah, this is, oh, wow. Oh, don't get me. I'm just trying to look at you. I'm not gonna hurt you. This is beautiful. What was that, another yellow jacket? I don't know. I couldn't tell. It just started going real fast. Another yellow jacket? I don't know. So we got to see both of the exhibits that are traveling exhibits and I enjoyed the shark one more. Here's a plaque about the NYA um, and how they helped build parts of the witty. And I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe and watch to the end. Thanks so much. I really value your time. To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw Porcupine ever. Love him. Look at this cute little raccoony fellow. And my other favorite is the little owl. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Bye, y'all.